one day my grandfather got sick. I went to the hospital to see him and he was like, Faith, you should really be doing this. We were standing in his room in the ED and I was like, yeah, okay. He's like, no, really, you should be doing this. And I was like, all right. So I went outside and I said to my mom, I'm like, I'm gonna go be a nurse. And she just laughed in my face. And she was like, yeah, okay, Faith, you're not gonna be a nurse. And I was like, no, I'm really gonna go be a nurse. She's like, okay, sure. I went to go be an RN and they said, no, your grades aren't good enough. You have to go be, you know, go to the LPN school first and then do the LPN to RN transition program. So I went back to school, became an LPN, and that's how I ended up in dialysis. What I really fell in love with about dialysis is the patient relationships, and it's also like a little mini emergency room. Everyone thinks you're just pushing buttons, but you really are dealing with just a chronic disease, and anything can happen while the patients are being treated. I didn't see myself or view myself as a leader. I thought I was quiet. I more, felt more like I was a follower than I was a leader until I got into nursing. I had a supervisor, her name was Candace. She's part of a and &A as well. She, I guess, saw leadership in me and she started grooming me when I was an LPN, I feel like. And then when I became an RN, she was moving on to become a nurse practitioner. And then when she left, I just got my bachelor's, so I took over as the manager, and I was young. I was only an RN for about a year and three months. So it was nice that they felt comfortable enough to give me that position at such a young age. One of the things I learned early on is to win the trust of the people that I'm leading. And I use that because I do servant leadership, and that is how I've learned to lead, and that's I serve my staff first and I lead second. I think you have to love what you do and then you become a great leader. If you love what you do, it comes natural because you only want what's best for everyone around you. When I became an ANA &A member, I kind of got tossed under the bus and thrown into presidency of the Long Island chapter number 122. It was a good experience and I feel like it really kind of put me in the spot to really understand what ANA &A does, and it was a great experience putting on educational activities for the members, that was great. And then I kind of transitioned into different roles and it kind of brought me to want to do more with ANA. &A. Nursing makes everyone a leader. Every nurse is already considered a leader. When COVID hit, it hit first on Long Island in the New York area, we were the epicenter. So I feel like a lot of places learned from us and I was vocal about what we were doing in acute inpatient dialysis. So a and gave me a lot of opportunities to speak on national and international stages and podium presentations in regards to COVID and acute dialysis. When you wanna make change as a nurse, this is your stage, this is your platform. And I've always said when I became a nurse, I wanna make positive change. That is my goal, to change what needs to be done. The lead workshop mentors and teaches new a and &A leaders to really kind of come together as a group and understand your roles and learn what you're gonna be doing to develop your teams. I've developed multiple friendships that are gonna be long-lasting forever friendships and mentors of people that I've always wanted to be like and I wanna be like them still and I look up to them and I see all of that that they have accomplished and I wanna accomplish those goals as well. It's true, I didn't see myself as a leader but if I could do it, anyone can do it. The reason we must lead as nephrology nurses is to make the positive changes that we want in our specialty and in our nursing practice. It's important for a and &A and nephrology nurses to have a seat at the table in a larger fashion because we are the ones that are taking care of that patient population. So th the best people to bring it forward are the ones that are actually dealing with it. If you're already an a and &A member and you're looking to get involved in leadership, you just need to go on the website and go to the leadership opportunities and apply and take a chance. When you move out of your comfort zone, you actually get more opportunities, and that's the key. I think I've learned to just take a chance and to volunteer and be active in your organization because that's really where all of my opportunities came from, and I think it's really made me a better nurse and a leader.